A growing number of families who have lost a relative to a drug overdose have found comfort by donating their loved one's organs. Kenneth Craig tells us about a Pennsylvania family's gift of life. Full of hope. Long before the day came, Charles Grugan let his parents know he was going to be an organ donor. He was checking it off because he believed it was the right thing to do, not that he would ever be called on to do that. He had big dreams. But an addiction to painkillers derailed those dreams and swept Charles into the nation's opioid epidemic. He had his first pill in high school. Happy birthday! And by his 30th birthday, he had moved on to heroin. He was 33 when he overdosed in the family living room. And I yelled to him again, Charles. And he didn't answer, and then I ran in and grabbed him, and I said, Charles. And um, he was gone. The brain damage was very, very severe. And he wasn't going to become, he wasn't going to be coming back. His parents and sisters honored his wish to donate his organs. It is the thing that helped us get through this grief that we thought we were never, ever, ever going to be able to be whole again. Drug overdoses have spiked since the opioid epidemic started sweeping the nation. And health experts say the only silver lining has been the increase in life-saving organs for transplants. Those are young people. Howard Nathan of the Gift of Life Donor Bank in Philadelphia has so witnessed how organ donation can comfort the grieving. They hear that their loved one can save somebody else's life, and as many as five or six or seven people. This helps them in a way we can't even imagine. Charles's organs were tested and cleared for diseases and damage. His kidneys, liver, and heart went to three strangers. What's it like to know that his heart is beating in somebody else's mm. chest? That's a, I think about that every day. Yeah. He often thought that he would do something so incredible, and he did it. He really, really did it. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, King of Prussia, Pennsylvania.